Uh, <clears throat> my name is Zakynthos. Uh, hey. Hello, welcome to the Zakynthos podcast. Uh, my name is Zakynthos. Uh, thank you to all the subscribers. Uh, I watch a lot of the Young Turks. I watch some gameplay footage and uh, I try to put good looking women on if I can find them. If I don't get copyright infringement notices. Uh, <clears throat> you're probably wondering who I am. You've seen me in the photo, so yeah. Uh, <coughs> um, I've got a cold, but it's getting better. I'm, I'm here today, we were cutting the lawns, so that's all well and good. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, what's been happening in the world of computers, technology, soccer, football? I'd like to talk about the world and uh, the American government. Uh, Barack Obama has now won his second term. That's good. I'm a Democrat. I'm, I support the Democrats. I, I try to take an objective view and look at the Republican side of things. <clears throat> Obama won it. The, the problem is, and the Young Turks were saying this, and this is not, what I'm not happy with, and a lot of you people out there. Now, I come from Australia, but I'm talking from an American perspective. The US government, again, doesn't matter who's in power, Democrats, Republicans, Conservatives, Liberals, you name it, whatever. It could be Hitler, Stalin, or Alexander the Great. They all stick up for the big companies. And all these massive companies and conglomerates get tax rebates. Harold knows what I'm talking about. Tax rebates. And we're not talking a little bit, 20 or $30 million. These companies get billions of dollars in tax rebates. Two, three billion. <coughs> I think it is absolutely disgraceful and something has to be done about it and the young Turks were saying it he has a thing called Wolfpack take money out of politics now you're probably thinking Zakynthos why are you talking about politics but it's not about politics the problem is it's money and the world revolves around money and the problem is these companies get away with murder they do as they wish they don't answer to no one. <coughs> George Bush, now Barack Obama. And I think Barack Obama is a good person. But again, it's the same story. And I think it's not Barack Obama that runs the show. It's the six individuals that are under him that make the strategic decisions, military decisions. Forget others. Let's, I'll go off on a tangent and talk about Iraq and Afghanistan. Why, is, uh, why are we in Afghanistan for? Every two weeks an Australian soldier dies. Why? Because they can't see the Taliban. Because, they, because they're camouflaged in the desert. It's like Call of Duty or Battlefield. But this is the real thing. This is the real thing. And I'm very angry. Every two weeks an Australian soldier dies. And I'm not happy. Zakynthos is not happy at all. Oh yeah, hello everyone. Uh, Harold, Nick, Mary, Dion, Spiro, uh, and all the scruffers that walk past or don't walk past or cruise or not cruise or, or pretend they don't know me or they ignore me. But anyway, that's besides the point. <clears throat> Back to America. And why have America, they've sent troops into Afghanistan, they won't pull them out. They say they will in 2014, but they won't. There'll, there'll still be soldiers there. They're not going to let go of their little piece of the pie in there. It's a strategic military point. But back to the businesses. These big businesses answer to no one. They get so many tax rebates, man. It's not funny. And the small businesses out there, fend for yourself. But is that right? Write down in the comments below, is that correct? Is that how society is run? You know how society is run? Harold, Nick, Spear and whatever? I'll scratch my back, you scratch yours. Sorry, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Is that right? Barack, you a person of from Kenya or you and Michelle Obama? I mean, is that how you want to, to be viewed as the people that just help big businesses? What was the big bank? 
the banks answer to no one. They've got their own laws. That's another story. Stories about the banks are incredible. Your, your pants would fall off. Kicking people out of their homes. Can't go to a lawyer. The lawyers are too scared to take on the banks. Money. Money in politics, money in sport. Let's take FIFA, the world governing body of soccer or association football. The round ball game. The world game. Hang on. The world governing body, my mum was saying. The 24-man executive committee, they sit around like a, a table. 24 people, they're high execs. They represent FIFA, the two or 300 countries that play football. Where the World Cup is in Qatar, in the Brazil next year in 2014, Qatar in 2018, I think. Deals were done under the table with envelopes. Is that right or wrong? What about the rest of us? Don't we have a say? We the members, the supporters, that support a sport? Or we sponsor a country? Money is too much. Something must be done about it. And here in Australia... There's a club that got busted for drugs, but the AFL CEO does nothing about it. He's just thrown his hands up in the air and said, I don't really care. The AFL CEO, his name is Andrew Dimitri. He says about Essendon, I don't care, not my problem. And he's trying to pretend because the problem is a club in a, in a professional competition, especially high profile club, what happens if they, don't, if, they don't, if they can't play? That affects the other clubs. Oh, but there's 17 other clubs, Zakynthos. They say to you, we don't care. That club is important to us. It's a high-profile club. So what the CEO does, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, and we'll just forget about it. But there are people out there that are watching the sport. They've won games, and they're cheating by taking drugs. They're cheating. My mum was saying, these drugs are new stylized drugs where you lose weight, which means if you lose weight, you can run faster, and you don't get tired. So my poor club in Adelaide, Australia, what hope has it, what hope has it got? to go get up against these huge superhumans that take drugs all the time. It's wrong. It's disgraceful. And I'm not happy about it. <clears throat> I, money. If you flash money in front of someone, especially a woman, they go, ooh, you got money, money, excellent. You got flats, excellent. Oh, one, you, I love you. But as soon as you've got no money, they don't want to know you. They pretend they don't know you. How can you meet a person at a function and then they say, I don't remember you. <laughs> you don't remember me, I don't remember you. What's the, what sort of society is that? I saw you, you didn't see me, I remember you, you don't remember me, I took a photo of you. You didn't see me, it rained, I was there, you wore red, I wore black. It's bullshit and it's a fucking disgrace. Sorry for my language. I really am sorry for my language. But it's really not fair. And... <coughs> <coughs> I did go to a doctor, but I'm getting better. Yeah, so, I mean... I mean... That, that's what's happening. A club has been caught with drugs. The players have even admitted it. A, a doctor gave them drugs. And the... And what, was, and what was said on the radio a month ago, probably is that the players will get off scot-free, the club will get a fine, two or three hundred thousand dollars, none the wiser, and the following you will roll on. But for me, what I don't like, there are big businesses out there, and not just in America, everywhere, that earn so much money, it's ridiculous. Yet you look at countries like in Africa, Senegal and Nigeria, I don't know if you, if you people have seen Tears of the Sun. Oh, 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 what they do to people in Africa, the rebels. Oh, 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 if you go up against the rebels or you go against them or you vote against the rebels in Nigeria, Senegal, whatever, oh, 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 they chop your arms off so you cannot vote. That's right, Mary. Hard to believe. If you've seen Blood Diamond, oh, 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 it's frightening. These countries like Syria, Africa, third, not even third world countries, these countries are in the dark ages. Parts of India. 10% are filthy rich, the other 90% live in slums. If you look around here, this is paradise compared to India. And that's only India. Indonesia, Jakarta, there are riots. In all the countries of the world, there are people oppressing their governments because they're not happy with what they see. They have no say. In Australia, we live in a democracy. 
where we can vote every three years. And so me, Harold, others, and Nico would vote Labour. Others will vote Liberal, and that's fine. It's a democracy. You vote for who you want to. But in Africa, and that, uh, 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 you can't vote. They come to your house and they say to you, you must vote, you must do this, you must do that. You must and you will. You must and you will with enthusiasm. In Africa, they tell you to, you jump, you say how high. And not how high, if you don't jump high, chop your feet off. So, where does it leave us? It's disgraceful. Uh, I may continue this podcast on, but if not, see you later. Bye.